to 15. The Aurora School District will require all staff members get a COVID vaccine before the fall semester. That is if the FDA grants full approval instead of just the emergency approval the vaccines have so far. Our Rick Salinger live in Aurora tonight. So Rick, what's the reaction to the district's announcement? Well, there's a lot of scrambling going on, Jim. This just came out yesterday, and they're looking into the legalities of this, including the Aurora Education Association, which represents the teachers. When classes resume in the fall, staff working in the Aurora public school system will be required to be vaccinated. Do you expect some resistance to this? The majority of staff I've heard from are uh, appreciative of the policy, but certainly there are staff members who believe that um, that's not in their best interest. The requirement was spelled out in a letter to staff from the district. The rule is contingent on full approval of a vaccine by the FDA, not just the current emergency use. People are permitted to be exempt for religious or medical reasons. What happens to the person who, who doesn't um, have grounds for an exemption? Uh, I guess their choice is to be put on leave of absence or, um, or get the vaccine. The district says employers can legally require the vaccinations for a safe and healthy work environment. I know all my colleagues are looking at it. Uh, we may be the first to uh, make a public statement or a statement to our staff, but I don't expect that we're in the last. While some individuals may be skeptical, the district says it believes in the science surrounding COVID-19. You know, a lot of colleges and universities are now requiring students to be vaccinated before they return to class. No word yet if that might be coming down the line for Aurora Public School students. Live at Hinckley High School, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Rick, thank you.